Coming in at 30 foot, this is a gorgeous Class C with a fantastic setup. Why? Because we have the sofa directly across from the dinette and in the bedroom, we have a north to south queen bed and it's just really well done. Great floor plan, all packed under 30 feet. Now, the reason I really love this front space, folks, and I've talked about this before, is that it's not just about the destination, right? When you're looking at a Class C, when you're looking at a motorhome, a lot of it is about the ride. That's, that's the memories we have. That's what we love. And when this slide is in, you, everyone right here is really close. It's kind of like a nice, intimate setting. Everyone's riding up front. You have the dinette. You have the sofa here. Driver, passenger, everyone's having a great time, and they're in the conversation. Plus, it's just super comfortable seating. And once you get to your destination and you open that full wall slide up, well, now you still have that conversation going. Plus, you have a great viewing angle to the TV. So again, I just think they did a really, really good job setting this one up. So of course, we have some seatbelts here, as I said, because you can have some legal riders. We have cup holders right behind that. Nice big window looking out to your campsite, which is the view that you want. I mean, currently we're at a show setting, so I'm looking at another RV, but just imagine that would be uh, your campsite right there. You have some speakers right underneath the cabinets so that we can listen to some music, LED lights, and big storage up top. And also, tucked away right in here, you have your splitter. So you can see all the HDMI cables going in there. Uh, so everything's already pre-wired to make it super simple for you. I love that they have that already built in. Strut supported, by the way. Um, that's a you know, big deal because that way you don't have to hold it up. So I really like that magnetic catches on there and as far as the cabinetry folks a freedom elite is extremely well built so behind the cabinetry they have actual uh bands of steel that they screw everything into so that way your cabinetry can support some weight right it's not just going to fall off the wall which believe it or not has happened in some other motorhomes uh, and we take a look up front of course we have the uh the bunk right here over the cab this is kind of the signature Class C look, right? You have the bed. Now the thing I love about the Freedom Elite is this little sticker right here that says 800 pound capacity. Folks, a lot of times you're talking about the, the bunk over the cab. You're looking at anywhere between uh, 350 to 500. Having 800 is phenomenal. That means two adults can very comfortably sleep up here, which a lot of times is just not the case. You want to talk about full usability and versatility, this gives it to you. You also have a vent right up top. That's important too. As we all know, heat rises. It gets warm. That's a big deal having a vent, and you will see two AC ducts to make sure that whoever is sleeping up there is nice and cool. Now, as we actually, I'll, I'll get to the cab, and then we'll come over here. Uh, I just want to talk about the cab real quick. This one is built on the Ford chassis. Uh, some of the smaller Freedom Elite you get a choice between a Ford and a Chevy. When you start getting bigger, they are Ford all the way. Uh, you can see some cup holders right here in the center. And as we drop down, you can see your central dash right here. And that has uh, everything you need. So you can see the radio there, as well as uh, your commonly used apps. So Sirius XM, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Of course, we can Bluetooth to that as well. And that is where you will see your rear backup camera. So everything is kind of centrally controlled right there. For charging, you get a USB port, as well as USB-C. Plenty of cup holders uh, right there as well. So you're definitely covered when it comes to the cab. Now, as we move over, we get into the Dream Dinette, and I really like the Dream Dinette for a few different reasons. One, it's nice and easy to make into a bed. There's simply a lever right over here you flip, and then this pushes down. In fact, I'll show you how simple it is, just like that. You will need to li lift these cushions up, but it's literally just like that. And then you pull it right back over, flip that lever back over to lock it in place. You'll also see two cup holders built in. It may seem like a minor thing, but trust me, when you're traveling, you stop at your local fast food joint, these are lifesavers when it comes to preventing spills. Also, wireless charging port right there in the middle of the table. So you need to charge your phone, boom, there it is. Super simple. Uh, you know, it's, it's some of those little features are things that I really enjoy. If you have smaller children that have a car seat, well, Freedom Elite has you covered there too. You'll see this little gap. That's to get down for the child seat tether right there. So they want to make sure that you're safe going down the road. Of course, we have seat belts built in um, so that you know you can safely strap the passenger in. Now you also have storage underneath. Now I've had a couple people that feel like it's deceiving because the doors are extra large, but I'm going to speak to that in just a second. So you can see that the drawer uh, width here 
doesn't line up with the entire door. There's a reason for that, because what they used to do is they would have the full width here, but it can only go back so far, because as soon as you hit the seatbelts, it has to stop so that you're not interfering with the seatbelts or it's just not gonna function. So what they've done instead is they made it a little bit narrower to give you a much deeper drawer. And honestly, I prefer this 10 times over having the short stubby one. Uh, and as far as having the bigger door, it just looks nicer. I, I understand that, you know, yes, in a perfect world, we'd be able to have all that storage, but you can't interfere with the seatbelt. So I do enjoy what they have done. Uh, I talked about good viewing angle to the TV. Your TV sits right above the dinette right there. So you're sitting on the couch, boom, great view to it. Couple windows there as well to help bring in some natural light. And folks, this right here is a slide. Uh, so, whoops, so you have all this that slides out, really helps to open this space up. We have the kitchen here. You can see it is a pressed laminate countertop. That way you don't have the T-mold that's gonna pop off. High-rise pull-down faucet makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Comes with the sink top covers. And you get a very deep single bowl sink. Folks, not, not all single basin sinks are the same, right? They obviously come in all different shapes and sizes. One of the things a lot of manufacturers do is they will give you a very shallow bowl because it's less expensive. This is a nice deep bowl in here, so that way it is actually usable. So if you have residential pots and pans, you can actually set them down in there and still be able to wash it. Pop-up power tower with 120 plus USB, and again, USB-C charging, and the top is also a wireless charger. Some kitchen storage right up top here, microwave hood, three burner cooktop underneath with your oven, as well as additional storage. Uh, and speaking of storage, we can see you have your pull-out drawers right here, right? So you get two of those, and you have additional storage underneath the sink, which is where your trash can will be located. Now, as we take a step further back, we get into the, um, the bathroom space. Well, I guess before I do, refrigerator right here, by the way, folks. Just rounding out the kitchen, I suppose. <laughs> Dometic fridge freezer, it is gas absorption. Storage right above it there, but you obviously have plenty of cold storage. Uh, but the bathroom space is quite big, right? It's quite spacious. Now, the, the toilet itself, you'll see, I, I call this a, I used to work in the plumbing industry, and it's what they call a comfort height, right? And essentially what that means, it's just a little bit higher off the ground than most toilets are. Uh, the reason people like that is if you have bad knees, it makes it a little bit easier to get up off the toilet. So I actually like a toilet that sits up a little bit higher like this one does. Also, it's a porcelain bowl, so it's nice and easy to clean. Right over to the side, you can see you have good countertop space, of course, an electrical outlet like you'd expect, stainless steel bowl, and then storage both beneath as well as up top. And then we, I step into the shower here. At six foot tall, you can see I have more than enough space. So you have seven foot ceilings in the Freedom Elite. Uh, and you know, with this skylight, I mean, shoot, I have an extra foot of space right here. So it helps account for the raised base because you have the plumbing underneath. But this huge skylight helps account for that. So folks, if you're tall, you have, you'll have absolutely zero issues showering in this shower. Now there is a little bit of a step up into the bedroom. So you do have to be aware of that. But again, you know, like I said, at six foot, I probably have an inch or two here, probably two inches or so, maybe three. Um, so I still have plenty of headroom. And then as we come in, and there it is, folks, the queen bed, right? How often do you see it where it's running like, uh, you know, the, the opposite way where it's running sideways? Here we get it lengthwise, and I absolutely love this because that way you don't have to worry about, um, you know, kind of walking around the bed. You can easily get off the bed on both sides and get into the bathroom. TV hookup will be located right here if you want a TV in the bedroom. And of course, we have great storage all the way throughout. Once again, you will see another vent right here in the, uh, in the bedroom, and you have four AC ducts in here to make sure everyone stays nice and cool. All right, now I know I was pretty excited about the inside, but I'm even more excited about the outside. Just wait until you see the storage this one has. Starting off right up front though, this one is built on the Ford E450 chassis, putting out 325 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. You have the one-piece front cap right on there. Of course, your mirrors come out and extend, so you're able to see beyond the cab. You have the running boards, so you can easily climb into the cab 
via either the passenger or driver's side door. Solera power awning so that you can just touch a button, rolls out, same thing to roll right back in. LED light strip on there. I want to say this one's 14 foot, I believe, uh, but nice big awning so you're able to utilize all this as camp space, especially because you don't have any slides or anything here in the way. Popping this guy open. Yep, that's right. This one is built for entertainment, built for hanging out. I love the TV right here so everyone can crowd around, put your chairs, you have the awning so you're in the shade. Love, love, love having an exterior TV. Propane fill will be right there. And as we take a look at the storage, whoop, let's do that again. As we take a look at the storage, you will see that uh, you have the rotocast bins. And the thing I really like about these is they're super easy to clean, right? You can just take a hose, wash them out, and all of your storage compartments will be lit as well. So if you're getting in there at night, you can actually see what you're getting into. Grab handle to make it a little bit easier to climb into the coach. And of course, you can see here, this one has been upfitted by More Ride, which is great. Uh, they do a really, really nice job to make sure that everything is going to be balanced while you're driving down the road. Uh, you'll also see your electrical outlets there in case you need to plug anything in. Making your way back a little bit further, you get to your propane quick connect. I like the fact that it is raised up, right? A lot of times it'll be underneath the coach where you have a higher uh, propensity of like having it get hit by a rock or a, a stump or something, having your propane line get knocked loose, obviously not something you ever want to happen. Here it is mounted up a little bit higher, protected a little more, and it's just easy to get to. But my favorite part about the exterior, folks, is right back here. You want to talk about a Class C that is built for being the life of the party, this is it. You have a ton of space. If you want to bring like cornhole boards, you have space for it. If you're bringing kids, you need to put bikes in here. I mean, you can throw so much stuff. And what I really love about this one is the stuff that comes with it. Not just the storage space, which is phenomenal, but take a look at this. This is an outside table. It comes with its own built-in table and they use it as a lid. Underneath, a huge storage compartment. Right in here, here, let me open this up for you. Look at this, you get this giant circular bin. You can fill that with ice. There's a drain at the bottom, so you can have a giant cooler in here, right? Same thing right here. All these have drains, super easy to wash out, and you can see that they all have the covers on there too. So I absolutely love this back space. I think it is phenomenal. And if you need to tow something behind you, whether it's a trailer, uh, maybe a boat, whatever it is, you have an 8,000 pound hitch with a seven way plug there, folks. It's not just a flat four, that is a seven, giving you all sorts of options when it comes to towability. If you take a look up top, you will see your backup camera, so it is nice and easy to see what is behind you. You have a rear mounted ladder, so you can uh, easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof. And as we come around to the off camp side, a couple quick things I wanna show you over here. Of course, the majority of your hookups will be right here, including your uh, fresh water fill, your city water fill, and then your black tank flush. Obviously, we have our, um, our power cord that is detachable, plugs right into here. The other thing I wanna show you though is right up top on that slide out, this one does come with a slide topper, helping to protect that slide from any sticks, pine cones, or anything else that may fall on top. Folks, if you're looking for a great layout in a Class C, not too long at 30 feet, built for entertaining, this one right here, the 28HE, is an absolute knockout. But if you're looking for something that's maybe built a little more for the family, something with bunks, maybe a full wall slide, well, check out this next Freedom Elite I got coming up right now. Mm -hmm.